Okay, so let's say you don't want to use any of Evo's designs that have already been made. Let's say you want to go completely 100% custom. Let me show you how to do that. Now, the first thing I always do is set my primary and secondary color, and that's because these will then show throughout the site when we're styling to get the colors easy. So I've created a menu. It doesn't link to anywhere, just for an example. So I'm gonna to go to pages, add new, and I'm gonna open, let's say five pages. I'm gonna give them all a name. Header, I'm gonna open the Glow Builder, add a row. And the first thing I'm gonna do is style a row. And this header will show throughout our site. So we can have video backgrounds, image backgrounds, pattern backgrounds. For this, I'm actually just gonna go solid color because I wanna build this quick for you. So we'll have it red. Okay, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna split this into two columns. Let's drag that over a little bit. Now we can insert an image for our logo, but ProStyle Evo allows us to use a logo and we can still use bits and bobs from ProStyle Evo on a custom build. So if you wanna add the logo that ProStyle Evo is currently using, we just drop this short code in and then whenever we update the logo inside ProStyle Evo it'll update throughout the entire website. Now I'm just going to insert another element, navigation bar. So we want to build a custom nav and I'm going to have it use the main menu. Styling, I'm just going to take the margin off. I want it to be on the right side. Background colour, red. Text colour, white current menu item text color red and current item menu background color white and that'll give us a nice hover effect now you can use custom fonts and all that type of stuff but I just want to keep this simple so I'm going to save that and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert a spacer and this just helps it look a bit better now the thing about spaces is the great because we can have them disabled on mobile so you can get it looking perfect on a desktop and then remove the space and then have the spaces not show on mobile so that it looks amazingly perfect on mobiles. So we want to make sure it's a blank template. I'm just going to publish that. That's our header all set up. Now let's do a footer. I'm going to add a row, do the background color. Solid color, red. So I'm just going to save that, we'll split that into two, and again we can use the text element because inside ProStyle Evo we've got a copyright notice set up. If we ever change our copyright it'll update globally throughout our entire custom site. So I'm just going to actually make that white in colour. I'm going to bold it. Now when you're using white text, you can change the preview background, it makes it easier for editing. And then we're going to add another navigation bar at our footer. I'm just going to use the same menu as the top. I'm going to have it on the right side. And we're just going to keep this very basic, we're going to have a red background. White text and another red background, so it'll just be white plain text. I'm going to save that, blank page template, publish, that's our footer done. Next, we're going to create a home page, so I'm just going to add, say three rows, edit the first one, and I don't want any styling on this, or margin, so I'm just going to set them to naught. And the same with the footer. Not. Not. So I'm going to insert the element, and this is going to be what contains our header. So I'm going to set it to footer widget 1. And then I'll duplicate that down the bottom row. And set that to footer widget 2. Now that's the header, that's the footer. So next we just need to make them display. So if I go to widgets, 
going to use the pro style of short code widget on footer widget 2 I'm going to set it to footer display content from a page and then drag one over here header okay so this is our home page built it will now show our header and footer let's add some quick styling so I'm going to add some heck so a heading welcome to our website and I'm just going to make that white and I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger okay center okay now I'm going to insert a space and gap now I was saying briefly a minute ago you can have these disable on mobile so if I just put the height at 100 and disable it on mobile it'll look good both on desktop and on mobile next we're just going to add a background color so I'm going to select an image we'll use this guy now we can have parallax we want parallax and we can also pick how we want the image to show so we'll click this bit here it'll have his head show like so bit to sides no repeat save make sure we're on a blank page template and publish so let's view our page and see how we're doing there we go we've got our header we've got a footer we've got a slight gap here that we can quick quickly fix on the sidebar at the top go to styling margin not save save page refresh now you can put revolution slider in here if you want to have some cool sliders going on for the main header of your site but I've just put that in a lot of you will want to use images and this is only a basic site we're building just so I can show you how you can do it